Welcome to AGK Tech Tips. In this video, I will show you how to create more complex sprites without the need to call external media. This can be useful in a variety of switch situations. Most commonly, these can be used to allow a program to generate its own media internally, either as a complex placeholder or as part of an image program. To do this, you need to use the command get image. There, but there is a trick to using this command, so it's worth paying attention. We're going to start our program with a simple global as integer. So global i size as integer, and we're going to set i size to equal 50. This isn't strictly necessary, but it's a habit I've gotten into. We're going to set the virtual display, sorry, virtual resolution, I should say, um, to 800 by 600. Remember when doing this, you also need to update the setup, otherwise it will still appear in a smaller window. Um, next we need to go dim sprite, and we're going to give it um, 8 sprites, um, which of course is 7, because uh, um, a ray is always from 0 to whatever number, rather than from 1 to whatever number. Um, now we're just going to go for i equals 0 to 3 and sprite i equals create sprite and we're going to give it a zero as we did in the previous video and set sprite position we use a bit of complicated math here uh, sprite i and 400 minus brackets i size divide by 2 and 300 minus i size divided by 2 and this just gets us a nice center position on the screen and set sprite size and we're going to give it sprite i and i size I size. This basically means that I can resize the sprite anytime I like simply by adjusting this number up here. And we're going to set sprite color. So sprite i. And we're going to go 255,0,0,255. And set sprite angle is going to be sprite i 22.5 times i and we're doing this to create a nice star shape out of our sprite so we're basically angling it and next i and now we're going to do exactly the same again we're just going to copy this and paste it and i'm going to go from four to 7 and we need to add another two sprites yeah another two pixels so um, this will be add two and add two up here and then we're going to minus four from size so we're basically moving it over a couple of pixels and then reducing the size of everything by four pixels and the, the color now needs to be black because I'm basically doing this to create a nice hollow star and everything else is basically the same. Now this is the tricky bit. I could just call the image equals get image now um, but before we do that we need to go render and this basically renders all the visual information to the back buffer not the screen. Um, so image equals get image uh, 250, sorry, 350, 250, 100 by 100, and we're going to clear screen, and we're going to create a new sprite, and we're going to give that the image ID of image, which we just created, and set sprite position and we're going to give it new sprite comma 350 comma 250 
and then we're going to delete our existing sprite. So for i equals 0 to 7, next i, and there we're going to go delete sprite, sprite i, and so that's our existing sprites are now deleted. And do sync and loop, and we'll compile that. And as you can see, we now have a red star in the middle of our screen. And this is all generated. This is now um, it, this was originally generated, I should say, um, by. Uh, I'll try that again. <laughs> this was originally generated by eight sprites in total. Those sprites have been created, they did their purpose, they've been removed from memory, and all we've done is taken the visual data with the get image and put it into a sprite. So we've now simplified the whole thing, we've created the media, we've deleted the media, and we've generated new media from that. Now I'll quickly show you what happens if um, I disable render image and clear screen. As you can see, there's nothing there now. So you don't get any of that um, nice red star. So if you don't have these commands here, you don't strictly need a need, um, clear screen, but I just do it for um, tidiness sake. And of course, as soon as you re-render then, it works properly. So without the render before the get image, the command basically will not work. So this is a more complicated way of getting some placeholder media in place, but as you can see, it works just as well. And once of course it's um, been converted into a sprite, um, or an image I should say, it's it's then far quicker to, re to use and update everything on screen. So um, if I want to move this sprite around, I can without any ma major issues. So there we go. Um, there we go, uh, a more complicated version of placeholder media, but nevertheless quite useful in many situations.